Season 7 of NBA 2K22 is finally here. And before we hop into this video, you know, I show you guys the new best drill moves in the game. And I tell you guys what to use and what not to use. I have a huge announcement. As many of you guys know, last year I did a face reel. I officially have a third channel called Life of Solo. I just made it so it might not come up in the search. But if you guys go in the description, you can click the link, sub up, be one of the OGs, be one of the first people to sub up to this channel. This is going to be for my IRL content. I'm going to do a lot of pranks, just some public videos, maybe some challenges, basketball videos, whatever. It's all going to be on this channel. And I'm going to start uploading videos as soon as next month. I have a lot of big plans for that video, a lot of different collaborations. So check it out. Sub up. There's nothing on it, but sub up. Turn on noties so you guys don't miss the first video. What's up, guys? It's a little back with another video. And as you guys can see right here, it is officially season seven. We have the new courts. Let me know what you guys think of these in the comments. And if I go over here to season prize, I know this isn't really what you guys clicked on this video for, but we can see level 40 NBA mascots have returned. And at level 30, for some reason, they're giving us another affiliation mascot. But today, like I do every season, I'm gonna show you guys what dribble moves you guys should be using because as many of you guys know, each season 2K decided that they're gonna add new dribble moves, new animations, a bunch of new stuff to the game to keep things fresh all year. I don't know if that really works. Like you guys can let me know, does it feel fresh? But regardless, they add a few new dribble moves each season. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple moves at the end of the video, a quick little dribble tutorial, show you guys how to use some of the moves. Yes, the curry slide is back in the game. If you guys play 2K20 or 2K21, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm going to show you. But basically, one of the most OP moves, one of the easiest moves, especially for beginners, is finally back in the game here in Season 7. So people can go crazy with it all summer. Again, as you guys heard at the beginning of the video, I now have a third channel. Videos will be coming as soon as June. A lot of big plans for that channel, so check it out if you guys haven't already. I literally just made that announcement today. If you sub up to that channel, screenshot it. Keep that in your camera roll. You could be an OG. You know, if that channel ends up blowing up, you can say, you know, I was his 70th sub or whatever. I'm also going to show you guys some settings and badges to make you guys the best dribbler in the game i'm going to tell you guys all the things that the best dribblers in the game do not want you to know so up to this channel if you guys haven't already run there to 600 000 subscribers press the red subscribe button and turn my post notifications so you guys don't miss a stream or upload i'm really locked in i will be going soon to florida to record for my new channel but that doesn't mean that i won't be posting here i'm still gonna be grinding on here and i'm gonna have a ton of videos for even when i'm gone all right but i think it's time to get into the drill moves drop a like if you guys haven't already let's aim for 10 000 likes but without further ado let's hop into it All right, so real quick, the first thing that I want to show you guys is my controller settings. So if we press start and go over here to options and then go to controller settings. And real quick, let me mention, if you guys are on next gen, aka PS5, the new Xbox, whatever, your game looks a little different than mine because some people get confused. Just know the dribble moves, the dribbling, everything gameplay related is basically the same. So everything in this video goes for that other game. It's, it's basically compatible. I know some people get confused, so I figured I'd throw that in there. But none of this really matters except pro stick orientation. Make sure that this is on absolute pro stick function. I also put on drill moves. These are my controller settings. I'll go through them real quick if you guys wanna pause the video and take them, but not a lot of them matter. Just a couple here at the top. And now for my badges, I'm on my 6-2 play shot. So I have 23 playmaking badges, and this is what I have them on. I play a lot of twos, not really threes. I have them pluckable, handles for days, quick for step, quick chain. Tight handles is basically what's going to give you ankle breakers. Ankle breaker, not a good badge for ankle breakers. You really don't get any. It's kind of pointless. Tight handles is the one that's going to freeze up your defender. And then bullet passer is pretty good. It'll help you make passes quickly. All right, but now it's time to go to my mic court. And I actually think, yeah, look, they added this run back. I don't know if you guys remember this from 2K21. It's not as quick but they added this run back so put this run on it'll help you run quick it's actually not that quick but it'll help you run quicker all right let's go to the my court let's talk about these dribble moves all right i'm finally here in my big my court i don't this isn't even a court at this point what what is this a penthouse what would you call this like this place is huge look at how many couches they gave me i really never like take a look at this like look at this it's a big ass l couch that is crazy and then wait where's my beds over here look at this monster bed that is huge is that bigger than a king i don't even know but i always get sidetracked all right let's talk about the drill moves so season seven they didn't add that many drill moves but we do have a couple so real quick if you guys think these are my drill moves you're probably dumb these are the default you know drill moves like don't pause like i know some people are gonna pause the video and try and take like this is not my sigs these are not my sigs so do not put these on but real quick we're gonna go through each one and i'm gonna tell you guys what's the best What's the worst? What's new? What's good? I'm going to tell you guys everything. All right, so for dribble styles, the only new one that they added this season is actually going to be Chris Paul, this one right here. You guys can see on the right, he's a little hunched over. I wouldn't really recommend it. I don't think it's awful, but there's some better ones like Steve Nash. I wouldn't probably recommend Steve Nash, but that's usable. Also, 
Paul George and Quick. Some people use Shifty. I wouldn't really do that. I'd say Quick or Paul George. I've been using Paul George. I used to use Quick. Either one is pretty good. I just think Paul George gives you like a quicker speed boost, but Quick is still a very clean one. I'm going to go with Paul George though. Now for signature size ups. And if you guys are new to 2K, if you guys are new to dribbling, this is a dribble move that matters a lot. So you guys do not want to get this wrong. And they added four new ones to this season. And if I hadn't mentioned already, I tried out all of them. I know the season just came out, but I bought all of them. I labbed up. I got them on my court and I tried all of them out. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about is Tim Hardaway. You guys see it over there on the right side. I tried this out. It's kind of slow. It's not awful. It's a little bit smooth, but what I noticed is that it's a little clunky. I just wouldn't recommend it. Like it's not terrible, but I just really don't see a reason in switching off, you know, whatever size up you're already using. Like it's just not that good to change off of it and upgrade up to Tim Hardaway. It's not even an upgrade. It's, it's probably a downgrade. The next one that they added is Chris Paul. I don't know if this is the Chris Paul season, but we got the Chris Paul dribble style. Now the Chris Paul signature size up. And this one kind of like the Tim Hardaway is not awful. I would say it's a little bit better than the Tim Hardaway. It's smooth, but it's not really glitchy. So if you're looking for something glitchy, something really quick, this is not going to be it. It's smooth, not bad, but I feel like there's some better options. The third one they added this season is going to be Rajon Rondo. You guys see it over there on the right side. I don't even know why they added this one because you guys can see how slow it is. Like I don't even have to get into my court and show you. Look at the right side. Do you see how like that's full speed, full motion, whatever? Why he does not dribble like that in real life. He does not dribble that slow. And it's Rajon Rondo, one of the best pass. I know, I know passing it doesn't have to do with dribbling, but one of the quickest point guards of all time, one of the smartest, he does not dribble that slow. I don't know if they mess up the speed or what, but this one is awful off the rip. If you try it, you will be able to tell that this one is not good. Do not use this under any circumstances. The fourth one that they added is actually a WNBA player. They added Brianna Stewart, which congrats to Brianna. You know, if you're watching this video for some reason, she's not watching this video, but Brianna, you can actually compete with Rajon Rondo six size up because yours is in competition with that one it's it's pretty it's pretty bad but um you know it's it's where's Rajan look at this look at the speed of Rajan's very slow and then look at Brianna's they're both about the same speed so congrats to Brianna but no I would not use this one at all all right now for the ones that I would recommend Derek Rose is going to be the best one in the game it gives you a very quick speed boost off the crossover this is the one they've been using basically all year so if you guys can get this one use it I know not all builds can get it I'm going to show you guys ones that you can use if you can't get it but use D Rose another one that's really glitchy that I've talked about I think in my last dribble moves video my last dribble tutorial is gonna be where is it steve francis where is steve francis we're gonna have to find it and it is right here steve francis another really glitchy one has a very glitchy behind the back you guys saw it right there and you can spam it back and forth wait for him to do the behind the back move wait for it wait for it whatever you guys can look at that but they added the curry slide which we're gonna talk about in a second and there's no really point in using this when the curry slides in the game actually that might be a little glitchy you could try it out but steve francis not an awful six size up and then the other one is gonna be donovan mitchell right here this is one that maybe if you can't unlock the other ones donovan mitchell you'll be able to get if you're like a play glass or maybe your blind is not that high you could try getting d mitchell all right we got our dribble style and our six size up now time to talk about the new signature combos that they added the first one they added is ray for austin which is on the top i'm not hovering over it yet look at the right because when i switch onto the sig i want you guys to look at my player on the right and watch the move that he does first it's very like park like like it's like a park dribble move it's very like almost silly like you know what i'm saying it's kind of goofy but i fuck with it because i don't use signature combos like that like it's not that important of a move but look at this ready right here look at that you saw that big hop up with the you know crossover or whatever between the legs that right there like i'm actually gonna throw that in and i think i'm gonna use it because i don't trigger my signature combos anyways i used to use jay williams where is it down here at the bottom so you guys could use this if you want but i didn't really trigger this move anyway so i might as well throw this in here just to like kind of do that every now and then catch my defender off i don't even know if i'm gonna do it but i might as well throw it on the other one they added this season is actually isaiah thomas and you guys can see he's kind of moving like it's not terrible this is a pretty good one but i think i'll just take ray for austin just to throw the defender off and do that big hop up move but isaiah thomas like you guys could try this if you want if you don't care about that big hop move then isaiah thomas is a good one you get a really good crossover at it but i'd recommend that you just do a regular crossover like i noticed the speed boost crossover whatever you want to call it out of this signature combo is pretty quick but you could just do a regular crossover instead of using this move. All right, we got our dribble style. We got our sig size up. We got our sig combo. Now time to talk about size up escape packages, which is very important. This is possibly the best dribble move added to the game in season seven. And of course, many of you guys may have heard, maybe even you heard me say it in the intro, Steph Curry size up escape packages is finally in the game. The Curry slide is back. You're going to see him do it here in a second right there. The Curry slide behind the back 
it's just i'll show you guys it at the end of the video how to do it if you don't know how to do it but it's just such a glitchy move especially if you're a beginner like you're gonna be killing your defender without even crazy drill moves like you just gotta do one move right here wait nope not that one wait for it wait for it all right i don't know how long right there that that thing slides you across the entire court and your defender is never expecting it so this is a very good one but you need an 85 ball handle and you also have to be under six four or six five i think it's six five actually so use this if you can but the other one that i've been using all year is trey young this one is really good use this if you can't get the steph curry one no you're not gonna be able to curry slide but still this is the best size of escape package in the game honestly but I, i'd probably go with curry just because the curry slide you know i'm gonna have to test it out give it a couple weeks but they're both really good. So get Trae Young if you can't get Steph Curry. Now for moving crossovers, they actually didn't add any moving crossovers this season. I don't know if they just ran out of them or like what, but we didn't get any new ones. And so the one that I've been using is Giannis. Either go with Giannis or Curry. They're both really good, but I've been using Giannis recently. All right, moving behind the backs, they actually did add a moving behind the back. That's gonna be Trey Young right here. And I don't know if that's the, there it is. That's the behind the back. Sometimes the behind the backs are glitch, but there it is. It's kind of, a little slow and like off to the side it doesn't look that slow in this screen right here i don't even know yeah i think that's the behind the back sometimes they're glitched like i said but it's not good enough to switch i use Kawhi Leonard. you guys can see how much quicker Kawhi is right there it's just a smooth quick behind the back i don't even think Kawhi dribbles like that in person but that's his behind the back and that's the one you guys are going to want to use because trey young's you could tell it's just off to the side and much slower so use Kawhi. moving spins this is the last new drill move that they added and it's going to be john wall i used this one for a couple minutes and i really didn't like it like the spin back is really not that good i couldn't really get it that much like i would just be spinning around on the court like a clown honestly like it's just not a good one and so i recommend penny hardaway or basic spins even is good you know people like basic spins people using this since 2k19 but penny hardaway is not a bad option at all so that's what i'll put on now for moving hesitation this move is not that important and they did not add any new ones you guys see i only have four i don't know if they just never add new moving hesitations because i buy the new ones every season but once again they didn't add any kevin durant is going to be the best one in the game moving step backs like i said they didn't add anything else after the moving spins so moving step backs we got nothing here they added james harden last season who has a crazy step back look at this right here watch this right there I thought that was going to be crazy, but it turns out that it's really slow. And the Luka Doncic step back, which they added in, I don't even know what season, season four, maybe season five. I'm not sure exactly, but this one's been insane ever since they added it. Luka Doncic moving step back is the one you're going to want to use for sure. All right. Now that we went over all of the drill moves in the game, which ones are good, which ones are bad. I'm going to show you guys a couple moves. I'm going to show you guys how to do the curry slide. If you guys are not sure how to do it real quick, if you skip to this point in the video, sub up, if you guys haven't drop a like and comment loyal, if you guys are still watching comment loyal, and also tell me when you subbed up, if whether it's today, I don't care. You know, if you're a sub, I just appreciate it. Even if you're just watching this video, I appreciate it. But let me know when you subbed, but let's hop into this quick dribble tutorial actually real quick before i do this let me show you guys how to get in the best dribbling situation ever or whatever sometimes you see this in dribble tutorials and you probably wonder how did he do that you press a to play and then you want to press x to invite somebody okay you're going to go down here and you're going to invite one of your teammates from your my career team let's invite this guy just invite someone that's not that good at defense we're gonna invite him now he's in the my court now we're gonna go down here to personal workout and we're gonna put us on offense john on defense and it'll put us in like a full court dribbling scenario which is very good to learn how to dribble and work on your combos all right so i have a full dribble tutorial already on my channel i'll put the link in the description if you guys want to watch it i posted it last season i'm just going to show you guys a couple moves i'm not going to pop a controller up no hand cam i'm just going to explain it some simple moves that'll help you kind of get started but if you want that advanced dribble tutorial click the link in the description or look up solo dribble tutorial nba to get 22. all right so the first thing i'm going to show you guys how to do is the curry slide now there is ways to kind of spam it you kind of got to do that little hezzy to that same side um i haven't really figured out how to spam it back and forth like this you know what i'm saying just spamming it literally back and forth and back and forth it doesn't really let you i'm gonna keep trying to figure out how to get that down but yeah there's little drill moves if you guys want to add that in there after you curry slide you just do an extra drill move to the side same side you just hold right trigger how to curry slide is downwards left with the right stick that's all you do stand still right trigger so i'm holding the sprint button and then downwards right because i want to go to the right if i want to go to the left downwards left with the right stick and i just messed it up downwards left with the right stick if you go straight down it'll give you that step back but downwards right that'll give you the curry slide and then if you kind of want to spam it back and forth you're going to do the curry slide and then a drill move to that same side like that so curry slide right and then dribble move to the right. It's a little hezzy. Just like this curry slide dribble move. And then back. You could do it right back to the other side. Or if you're more advanced at dribbling, this is really good with combos. The rafer move, you just hold right trigger and then flick up on the stick. Bang. And then curry slide right away. 
bang curry slide that's why i like this move i throw this in bang or you could do a long hezzy bang curry slide back like if you have a defender on you he thinks you're going this way curry slide this is just such a killer move and they finally added it in season seven i don't know why they waited so long but look at this i'll be dribbling and the ai is guarding me so it's obviously a little bit tougher but i'm running over here Fuck, I'm running over here. The defender thinks I'm going to the corner. Bang, curry slide wide open on the one. You see how far that flings you? The curry slide's OP. You guys definitely need to learn this move, especially if you're a beginner. The next move I want to show you guys is this pull down move. You might see a lot of the stage guards do this. A lot of the comp guards, you know, the, the best guards in the game do this move. And I do it pretty often and how you guys do this is right stick up left stick down it's that simple right stick up left stick down at the same time you just flick just flick it if you hold it i don't know what would happen yeah that wouldn't work but just flick each stick flick each stick you can spam it and go backwards like that it's a really good move to have because you can either run out of it or you can combo out of it just like this or curry slide hold on like back curry slide just like that out of it so there's a lot of different things you could do out of it. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is this D Rose crossover. This is why I keep on the D Rose six size up because you can run out of it like this. Hold on, like that. It kind of glitches into your other hand or even like that. You just flick upwards left with the right stick. So if it's a clock, picture 1030 on a clock. You flick top left with the right stick and then you run. So you're not holding the sprint button when you flick, you just flick and then you immediately hold the sprint button and run in that direction or if you want to do it the other way you just flick top right and then run in that direction all right the last one i want to show you guys is going to be the luka Doncic moving step back which is just like this it creates a lot of space you can curry slide off of it immediately which is kind of fire definitely a move that i'm going to be doing a lot curry slide right off the step back but when you're running you just flick down on the right stick it's that simple you hold sprint button so you're sprinting 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 flick down on the right stick and if you guys want to know how to do this move or a bunch of the other moves that i do you can hold on let me show you like you can literally spam this one back and forth and just it literally looks like you're floating that's in my other dribble tutorial video so again it's a link in the description for the full dribble tutorial click the link in the description again i just made public i just made the announcement my new third channel for irl videos called life of solo that link will be in the description so up to that one i got videos coming as soon as middle of june meeting up with a bunch of people clutch is gonna be there if you guys know clutch he hasn't done a face reel yet but once he does i will definitely post a bunch of videos with him and i just got a lot of plans there's some prank videos some actual videos i got a lot of stuff planned so sub up to that channel but yeah guys i really hope that this video helped you out if it did help you or you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one she lost it, circle I'm off it, and now she wanna top it, oh baby